Let us try some examples for you to determine the maximum spacing of reinforced concrete element. This is an RC beam. The dimension is 150 times 450. It is designed for residential area. It has two reinforcement bar of 16 diameter and on the top and another two at the bottom. And each shilling is 180 by the spacing of 150 center to center. Its concrete cover is 25. And it is designed for GK 1.5 and QK 3. And the distribution factor is 1.0. You may pause the video for you to work out the solution. Let us look at the solution. First of all, you need to determine the stress in the reinforcement bar. Adopt this equation and you know that it is used for the residential area. You need to refer to a table for domestic and residential area and you know that the factor for quasi-permanent variable loop is 0 0.3. Therefore, this equation is applicable for this example. So substitute the value 460 for the main reinforcement bar. This is factor of safety for the steel and 1.5 GK and 3 GK and also 1.5 GK and 3 QK are substitute into the equations then you will find the stress in the reinforcement bar it will be 147 newton per mn square so you need to refer to table 7.3 n and looking at the wk 0.3 mm and the stress is actually lower than 160 that means you are looking at 300 mm maximum spacing so your maximum spacing will be 300 mm next you have to go back to the dimension of the beam in order for you to calculate the actual spacing the actual spacing it will be the clear distance between the two reinforcement bar okay just happen that the top and the bottom reinforcement bar have the same size so you can choose either one if the size is different, then you will choose the biggest spacing of all. So the spacing is determined by these equations, where your spacing is determined by 150 minus 2 side of the cover, minus 2 side of the shelling bar size, and minus 2 size of the reinforcement bar that will be the clear spacing and it happens to be 52 mm by comparing this maximum 352 mm you know that the actual spacing is less than the maximum allowable bar spacing therefore it is okay the design is acceptable next we try another example for RC slab the thickness of the slab is 125 mm. The main reinforcement bar is Y10 150 and the secondary reinforcement bar is Y10 250. You may pause the video again for you to work out the solution. Now let us look at the solution here. The thickness is 125 which is actually less than 200 mm. Therefore, the table 7.3 is not applicable. So, you will have to refer another table, which is this table. And you will check accordingly. So, the spacing between the main reinforcement bar, it will be 150. And you're going to check against 3 times the height and also check against 400 mm. So the spacing is found actually less than that. That means the spacing is acceptable. 
and then for the secondary reinforcement bar the secondary reinforcement bar is mainly used for controlling the spacing you will check against 3.5 times the height of the slab and also 450 and you find that the spacing of 250 is actually less than the maximum allowable spacing therefore your spacings are acceptable